Now to continue, so we all know this, that the rotary engine has always have huge issues with reliability and due to its inherent design, right, it has a lot of disadvantages whereby you need to burn engine oil. Engine oil was designed from the get-go to be pumped into the combustion chamber. That means it will burn um, engine oil on the go. And there are also problems whereby the problem of incomplete combustion because as the uh, rotor was spinning, as the spark plugs was trying to ignite the fuel, it was turning away and expanding the chamber at the same time and basically the fire couldn't catch up with the fuel so before it was fully burned it is already being ejected into the exhaust that's why uh, RX-7s have those wonderful backfires you know, that, that burns up a lot of fuel so in that context in Mazda Sky Active Future of making internal combustion engines highly efficient it seems there is no there is no salvage for the uh, rotary engine at all but the news have it that Mazda was uh, they sort of found a solution and are trying to solve this or trying to refine or perfect the solution that they discovered and when this news came up it actually bothered me for a while because I kept thinking how what is it that they found that makes a difference because the rotary engine is so far away from being remotely reliable or usable or efficient in that manner so when when Mazda announced that they will they are in the midst of actually creating the next generation rotary engine everybody was fanatical about it but nobody had any idea on what actually they are pursuing so this has interested me for the past two years actually more why the past two years because back in 2006 uh, 2016 I was invited by Mazda to their R&D not R&D, their test uh, center in, in Hiroshima and there I met a lot of Mazda engineers of course they are being very very tight-lipped about it they are not telling me anything but I remember I kept putting this in in our random conversations you know and I received one single word or term okay that they are willing to say so I asked a lot of people you know it's not an active interview it's just we were chatting and then I tried to ask it in the most casual manner to try and squeeze out anything that I could only one guy in fact I forgot who he was only one guy one Japanese guy out of that entire trip uttered one word and that word is pre-combustion that's all he's willing to tell me pre-combustion that's it he would not divulge further he would not say anything further and that word has bugged me for the past two years I keep researching and researching and trying to find a solution because when I did my research for the past two years I trace back and trace back and trace back at the core of it my understanding of how Felix Wankel came up with the Wankel engine of which became the rotary engine as which is when you go down to the very basics of wanting to create something that is non reciprocating you are going back to the basis of geometry of trochoids and epitrochoids and when I discover that there are many different ways of achieving 
trochoids or epitrochoids that's when my research went the other direction you know at first I was trying to figure out uh, maybe they are using different kind of material maybe they have uh, they're gonna use graphene or titanium here tungsten there but then I realized these are very very expensive raw materials it can never be the solution by lightening it because as I said just now the rotary engine was beyond redemption in the modern context of internal combustion engine efficiency it is beyond that so it cannot be by pursuing the path of lightening the engine lightening the engine would, would only yield them 5% or maybe 2% or 3% which is very very far off when the uh, rotary engine is at least 50 to 60% less efficient than a Golf GTI engine it is even less efficient than a Hemi V8 so it cannot be by lightening so when I trace back all the way to geometry I found that there is another design that Mazda could have been pursuing to achieve a better design for rotary engine and that design, that geometrical shape actually allows them to do pre-combustion that word that they tell me, pre-combustion now, any one of you who understands rotary engine Mazda's version of rotary engine I want you to visualize this visualize the peanut shape the relationship between the peanut shape and the triangle rotor shape imagine these two things right you have the peanut outside the triangle inside now I want you to do this flip them inside out that means the outer casing of the engine block of the rotary engine is now in the shape of a triangle triangle and the piston the one that we call the rotor is now the shape of the peanut shape by flipping this two the peanut shape's relationship with the triangle maintains that means it is still able to do its rounds inside the triangle but the three chambers the three chambers would now be the edges of the triangle block the engine block so what this design allows it to achieve is that you have space at the very end to do pre-combustion now it has a, a chamber that fill will be pre-combusted then only push out to interact with the rotor that's the first advantage that will give you the efficiency you needed right and lower the emissions because you're burning all the fuel secondly by designing it this way you can now have equal temperatures in the engine block third remember the apex seals that are mounted on the rotor the apex seals can now be mounted on the block the lining of the block itself instead of on the piston that is constantly moving so now we have an inverted design of the rotary engine it allows efficiency it improves durability it also improves emission and I dare say this they might be able to greatly to vastly reduce the size of the block and this has been confirmed with a recent interview by a Mazda executive saying that the engine block of the rotary engine can now be a range extender that means it is because of its linearity and the efficiency it can be used to power a generator for the electric uh, electrification or hybridization of Mazda's next flagship sports car and I was so happy that when he said the engine block can now be maybe the size of a palm yes I have no facts I have no proof but I only have two confirmed statements pre-combustion and the size of your palm or maybe slightly larger 
that's about it and I've written this article and this video is my intro to that article if you want to read further or understand further click the link below and read that article cheers guys hey guys if you would like to support what we're doing just uh, hope you can click the subscribe button and if you do not want any email updates after you subscribe just don't click the bell you saw that little bell there don't click that bell and you're fine there won't be emails um, you know harassing you just as a form of appreciation or encouragement I hope you can subscribe to our, our channel my my own channel and uh, there's corns channel there is uh, Fadil's channel and there's Bing's channel hope you guys can subscribe to us and then if you want to look for us on Facebook it is Horizon Malaysia on Facebook okay and then on Instagram as well where we will start to upload more and more behind the scenes you know about us on Instagram so there will be a uh, different sort of things that we're gonna upload on Instagram versus uh, Facebook from now on so hope you guys can support us in the things that we do we always the only things we want to do is we review cars in a very very honest manner so that new car buyers can have a better insight and detail into what they're, they're looking at and then uh, for used car and recon car buyers you can bring your car to our clubhouse but we will have mechanics to do a full inspection for you free but of course we will let you know what are the things that your car that your car requires you to do and we even give you the quotation the cost of it and then you can go off if you want to you can proceed with the job if you want to it is entirely your option okay that is what we do for recon and used car buyers and we also do car safety workshops uh, weekend drives uh, long distance drives meetups and the likes of it okay so thank you so much for your support we have been uh, really really grateful of um, being able to do the things we like and uh, you guys appreciate that as well thank you so much cheers